person? As an orthopedic surgeon, I hope that you are. If you are, then at some point, somebody's probably gonna ask you what's going on with your arch. For years, we've been told this big cushiony arch support is the way to go. But now, you're seeing shoes that hardly have anything and barefoot running clubs that are popping up all over the place. You start wondering to yourself, well, how much arch support is really enough? Most of us have been wearing shoes all our life. They're protecting our feet from sticks and rocks. Well, there are a lot of cultures out there that don't have access to shoes. So if they're running, they're running barefoot. Well, they're used to it, so that's not gonna come as a shock to their feet. For the rest of us, I'm not so sure. Here's a model of the human foot. It is an arch just like you'll see in old buildings. It spans the space and supports weight. Our arch is a little different because it's flexible and this allows us to absorb impact like when we run. That's why choosing an arch support for your shoe is really important. Two factors have to be considered when you choose the arch support for your shoe. One is the structure of your foot and two is your running style. Do you have flat feet like a duck? Good news! That means your flat foot comes into more contact with the ground. So when you run, you're able to dissipate more energy. You can wear a minimalist shoe with very little arch support and be comfortable. If you have high arches like I do, then less of your foot is in contact with the ground. This means you definitely need an arch support to dissipate those forces. Now that you've figured out if you have a flat foot, or a high arch, and the next thing to do is look at your running style. You can videotape yourself or even ask your doctor to look at your gait. Most people are gonna heel strike and then what I call foot slam. When you run, you can actually hear your foot hitting the ground. That heel strikes the ground first and with it, that's a lot of force. When you're running, that could be seven times your body weight. Do the math. You need cushioning there, especially if you're a heel strike runner. That's why a traditional shoe with cushion in the heel can prevent that stress and prevent you from possibly developing a condition like plantar fasciitis. Barefoot runners or runners who are actually comfortable in minimalist shoes are gonna tend to hit the ground on their midfoot or even the ball of their foot. It's the same amount of energy, but it's dissipated over a much larger area. This means with these runners, you put them in a rigid, highly structured shoe they'll develop an unnatural gait. That's why they're comfortable barefoot or in minimalist shoes. Bottom line, if you're like most of us, you've been wearing cushioned shoes all your life. So look for it when you look for a running shoe. Pull your insole out and squeeze it between your fingers. If there's nothing there, then that's the amount of shock absorption you're gonna get, none. So I tell my patients, when you look for a running insole, Look for something that's rubbery. It should have the consistency of a gummy bear. Remember, whether you have flat feet or high arches, whether you hit with your heel or on the ball of your foot, you need to find a shoe that has cushioning that suits your specific needs. In the end, that's the way you're gonna avoid injury to your feet.